Hello you guys, welcome back to Fins and Whiskers. My name is Shine and I'm going to go over a little bit more about my homemade seed mix for gerbils. I get a lot of questions about it and alternate ingredients that you could use instead because some ingredients are harder to find in different locations of the world. So I tried to accommodate to that. And also I wanted to go over commercial mixes because I know not everyone can make their own mix and if there is even a good commercial mix for gerbils. And the short answer to that is no. The two best commercial mixes for gerbils are both 2% too high in protein. With hamsters, while you can mix commercial mixes together to accommodate to their protein needs and dietary needs. You can't really do that with gerbils because the protein will just be increased. A lot of the ones with very low protein have almost no benefits to them and are just unhealthy in general. So it makes it really difficult. However, again, this is not any fault of yours or anybody who needs to buy commercial mixes for their pets because they're just aimed more towards hamsters and we still need gerbils to be more recognized. But if you have no ability to make the homemade mixes that I'm going to provide for growing adult and senior gerbils, then I would suggest using either Higgins Sunburst or Kunapik Naturalist Hamster and Gerbil. Now using the guaranteed analysis calculator provided by the Hamster Hideout Forums, I calculated these specifically for gerbils and I will go over the options with you guys. And basically this one is for gerbils that are five weeks to six months old. These are what are considered growing gerbils. And you can see here all of what you need to provide by the percent of diet. Now the way to see this in grams is basically with the oat, for example, if it says 12, 0.00 it would be 120 grams or if it's the wheat which is 3.00 it would be 30 grams and with the pasta it would be 10 quinoa 20 and such now i know some of you had trouble finding sorghum and also safflower so i have replaced them with millet and spelt now they are a little bit different in portion size and they do have a little bit of a difference on the guaranteed analysis but it's all perfect for a growing gerbil in this one. However, if sorghum and safflower is easier for you to find, I have included the guaranteed analysis for that one and the portions for that as well. Now for adult gerbils and the one that I will be showing in this video and also that was the one in the previous homemade mix video is included with sorghum and safflower. So if you are going to use sorghum and safflower, it will be 30 grams of sorghum and 10 grams of safflower. But again, this one I have included it instead with millet and spelt so you can pause if this is easier for you to find. And lastly, I've made this one for senior gerbils that are three years old or older. And this is because they need way less than what they did when they were growing and less than they did when they were just adults. So you can use this one. It does have a little bit less of ingredients, but of course with any of these options that you use, you still do want to provide dried material like leaves and veggies and herbs so that they get a lot of vitamins and minerals. So with any of the mixes that you are going to use, if you are going to make them yourself, and get each individual ingredient to make the whole mix. You are going to have to weigh them in grams is the easiest and the ones that I have provided for you. And of course you can always experiment with safe seeds that are good for gerbils and play around with the values. All you have to do is use the calculator and I will provide that in the description below. So if there are other ingredients that you can't find but can find others that are safe for them and have 
very very exact nutrition value or you can play around with the portions to make the guaranteed analysis crude protein fiber and fat in the gerbils range of what they require at that age now i am going to go over a little bit more and you can use this information for the others as well but for adult gerbils the mix that i use i've actually calculated the oats by the whole grain and not rolled oats now in the video in the previous clip i you can see that i am using rolled gro o rolled oats at the moment but the value is going to be the one for the grain so you'll definitely want to use the grain however rolled oats does have very similar if not exact nutritional value it just has a little bit of a difference in fiber and with barley i get asked a lot if you can use barley groats or pearled barley and they do have a difference in nutritional value so you would have to use the calculator to make sure everything is 100% and in range of their guaranteed analysis it sounds a little confusing but a lot of seeds that are meant to be grown are you can find them online or even at places like home depot and they're not treated because they're just the seeds now for the pasta portion i am using a whole wheat pasta and it does have added vitamins and minerals however in the guaranteed analysis that i put in the chart i used regular plain raw pasta in the information so you really don't have to worry about getting a specific brand and i also didn't really talk about any of the brands that i use because i live in mexico and so i don't think that a lot of you would it would be helpful to tell you the brands <laughs> but if you read along with all of the information on the bottom you'll know which to get and it will be the most helpful of course, with plants and seeds in general, not all seeds <laughs> hold the same nutrition. You can't really hold every little grain or seed true to its guaranteed analysis. However, it is enough measurement for gerbils to be within the range that they need. Now, the only other guarantee that you really need to pay attention to are their vitamin and mineral intake. And I did explain in the other video, and I do suggest that you check that video out because it's a little too much to explain all over again. But in that article, they tell you a bit about the proportions of vitamins and minerals that gerbils need. Now, this can be very easily attainable by and necessary to provide daily dried fodder. And for gerbils, this especially will mean to provide dried herbs, which contain a lot of vitamins and minerals, and also dried natural leaves that they would eat in the wild, as well as dried veggies, so that the water content isn't too much for them, and they can eat those things for the vitamins and minerals without having to worry about getting runny poops. Now, I usually refer to all of this as dried herbs, and that's because flowers and leaves and things like that are all natural herbs. And so if you want to learn a little bit more of a variety of flowers and veggies that you could feed, maybe dried instead of fresh, I do have videos on those and you can check those out as well. Also, in my last video, a lot of you guys were concerned because your amaranth grain did not look anything like the amaranth that I've been using. And that's because the version that I'm using is actually popped amaranth. And they do have a bit of a difference in nutritional value. But I do tell you to use the grain because I've calculated the guaranteed analysis with the whole grain. I just happen to have a lot of popped amaranth, so that's just what I used, but I also accommodated my own guaranteed analysis for that. But it's not the one that I'm giving you guys, so you don't have to worry. If your amaranth looks different, it's for a good reason. If it looks like mine, it's not the right one. It's popped and not the actual seed. And I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the numbers on the scale that I'm using, but in case you are, 
don't worry. I know the amaranth said 107 grams, I believe. And I just did that on purpose because I did have a little bit less of the rolled oats than I needed. So I just adjusted the amaranth to keep the guaranteed analysis that I needed. So if you've been paying attention, great job and also yeah don't worry <laughs> another thing i get asked a lot is how often to feed gerbils and when and there is not really a simple answer to that because it also depends on how many gerbils you have but considering that pairs or trios are the safest to keep in captivity if you have two gerbils then you would feed two tablespoons of the seed mix every two days and if you have three gerbils then you would feed three tablespoons every two days and i like to break this up throughout the day three times so they would get one tablespoon in the morning another tablespoon during the evening and another at night or very early the next day uh, as long as you skip a day or two because you do want to make sure that they are not being picky and only selecting the parts that they really like. And so waiting it out makes them have to eat these <laughs> pieces that they would not go for at first. I also suggest avoiding putting their seed mix into a bowl or any kind of dish and instead sprinkling it around and into their bedding. Not only can this help with territorial or behavior issues, but this also makes them have to work and get to the, the seeds. And since gerbils don't have cheek pouches like hamsters, they can't really save and guard the ones that they really like for later so they just kind of have to go and get what they can before the other gerbils do because it just might not be there when they want it for later so they end up eating the majority of the seeds and eventually all especially if you skip some days of feeding and in the days that you skip feeding you can feed their daily veggies and i do have a video that explains more about every part of their diet a little bit better so i also link that above on the right hand corner with feeding this homemade seed mix i do recommend feeding veggies daily and these are going to be fresh and for three gerbils i feed a tablespoon of veggies daily of course with any pet you want to monitor their stool and make sure that it is not runny because if it is you will want to slow down or provide a smaller proportion and i do provide a tablespoon of veggies daily because i have three and so they do not share equally it's inevitable so that's why i provide a tablespoon so some might get more nutrients one day than the other, but in general, they will be getting a good amount of nutrients that they need, especially with this mix. Also, on the days that you're not feeding the seed mix, you can feed the dried material for vitamins and minerals, and also hay. Hay is so important for gerbils because it has so much fiber and is so dry and good for them. Gerbils can't always get sufficient amount of vitamins and minerals through fresh plant material or fresh veggies because of the water content. While fresh herbs, flowers, leaves, and veggies are a great way for gerbils to get their vitamins and minerals, it's not always the most ideal to get the majority of the vitamins and minerals they need, especially with a homemade mix. Because of that water content, uh, it could very easily upset their stool and their stomach and is a little bit harder to digest than dry content. So it's very important that you do. And I know that you guys asked a lot what flowers and herbs I use. And this isn't included in the guaranteed analysis. So don't worry too much about the specifics. I do have a video on safe flowers that I will link. But I just this time only provided two flowers and also dandelion greens and mallow leaves as the herbs inside of their food mix and I just put it to have in any case of an emergency where I can't feed herbs or anything on a day or I'm just not around to 
really complete a weak diet, which is okay sometimes. You don't even have to do this. You don't have to put it in their staple mix. I do feed a larger variety of dried material for them daily and is just not included in their seed mix. So they do get on days that they're not also eating the seeds. And a great way to include very fine dry material like I have in the dandelion leaves. They came in forms made for tea and <laughs> it was not really ideal because they're so tiny and can very easily get lost in bedding. But you can use a dish for their fresh greens and so you can even use things like this to sprinkle on top of those fresh greens or just put in a dish so that they are able to get them without it being lost in bedding. Now these portions besides the flowers that are quite large are going to get lost in the bedding since they are in the seed mix. I do sprinkle it into the bedding but again these are just kind of emergency herbs. This mix of dandelion actually includes the leaves, dried flower buds, and also the roots of dandelion so there are some larger pieces and they will be able to find those quite easily. I will be making a video on dried material that you can feed to your gerbils for vitamins and minerals so that you can have a variety to choose from and a lot more ideas on what to use for those but I do have a video on their greens and flowers and you can easily dehydrate any of these as well to use as dry material. Now it's actually really hard for you to add too many on vitamins and minerals for gerbils because things like their seeds which are the main part of their diet have vitamins and minerals but they aren't very concentrated and so leaves, flowers, and veggies are more concentrated. So a general rule I like to use is just to Provide the greens a tablespoon daily for three gerbils. You could also get away with doing a tablespoon for two gerbils every other day. And for the dried material, I just sprinkle a teaspoon daily. Now besides some ingredients not being readily available for you guys, I also know it can be a little bit time consuming and inconvenient to make your own food mix. And you have also asked if I will be making or selling this one and the answer is yes. It just, it can't really happen right now for me, but I will definitely update you guys on when that happens and I can finally be able to share it with you. And some of you also expressed concern for a lot of the smaller seeds falling to the bottom and sitting at the bottom and so for the majority of the days they aren't getting the well-balanced complete mix that you created but that's simply not true in fact you just need to mix it really well bottom as you can see here you can see how the layers are just sitting very nicely because they are not well mixed so definitely make sure that you get every single layer you will have to mix the food with your hands a various amount of times but once it's all mixed together it will stay well mixed and balanced as long as you aren't moving their food around every day or at all and just when they're going to eat. Now if you want to make more than the amount that I've been making, you can definitely just double the amount of the ingredients. So if one ingredient is 30 grams, you would just make it 60 grams and in the end all of them doubled would still contain the same guaranteed analysis. And lastly, I want to include the importance of feeding your gerbils insects and nuts that are higher in fat because they do need to balance out the rich fiber they are getting from this diet. Now you can feed a couple of mealworms a week. You don't want to include it in the mix or even keep it anything more than a treat because they are still very high in fat for gerbils. But in the end, you have the most important part of their diet for their health. It smells amazing and it looks amazing and your gerbils will love it.